Good evening, child of God. This is Brother Willie. It's almost midnight here in Houston, Texas. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wherever you are. Uh, whatever time you're watching this, all around the world, uh, we have 280 nations that uh, follow Brother Willie. And uh, we weren't going to go live today. You know, recently we've been getting such uh, wonderful reports of miracles, but also some some criticism. And you see, that's the enemy's plan to get us into strife and get us to worry about what people think. We just have to proclaim the word of the Lord and sow the seeds. And some people have good ground in their heart. Some grounds are stony. Sometimes the thorns come and they choke the word of God. Now, all of my family, friends, and followers that have been following me for some time know that uh, our house was flooded. Amen. So we've been in the process of cleaning up and getting new furniture. And uh, so we're not uh, in any mood to go live or even to preach the word of God. But do you remember the other night, just last night, when I was preaching on the benefits of the Lord? And I called Sister Nafi. Amen. And I said, what is the psalm for tomorrow? Let's, let's, let's read the readings for tomorrow, for the liturgy. Do you know that Brother Willie got in the wrong Sunday? It's the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and I was in the 25th. Child of God, you'll never believe, or maybe you will believe, if you're a man of faith, a woman of faith. Do you know what the Psalms is for tomorrow, the 24th Sunday in ordinary time? Exactly what I preached last night. I'm telling you, God is trying to tell us something. Are you ready? the 24th Sunday in ordinary time amen I didn't mean to start that right now you guys will have to forgive me I'm not trying to um, I didn't want to preach to anybody today but this is very important because this is what the Lord laid upon my heart just yesterday listen This is for tomorrow. Two billion Catholics all around the world will be reading exactly what Brother Willie preached. And I had no idea that it was a psalm for tomorrow. I thought we were in the 25th week in ordinary time. <laughs> Amen. We've had a lot going on. But listen. This is the RSV Catholic version from my daily missile. Praise the Lord. The Lord is kind and merciful slow to anger and rich in compassion aren't you glad i don't know about you but i'm glad i need i need mercy and i need grace and i need compassion praise the lord or i certainly did need it when i was out in deep sin now listen bless the lord oh my soul and all of my being bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits. Remember I was preaching that just last night. By the, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The word of the Lord came to me. And he said. Preach about the benefits. That belong. To the child of God. And I, did, I obeyed. And I didn't know that tomorrow was the psalm. Amen. Bless the Lord O oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all of your illnesses. There's no illness. There's no name under heaven, on earth or under the earth that is above the name of Jesus. Jesus heals every, I don't care what your disease or sickness is called. 
Jesus will heal it. Who healeth all of your illness. Redeems your life from destruction. Crowns you with kindness and compassion. As far as the heavens are high above the earth. So surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. That's exactly what I was prophesying yesterday, and I didn't even know it was the psalm for tomorrow. So we know that it's the will of the Lord, you see. We're going to just pray real quickly. Because Brother Willie has so many things to do before we go get up and go to Mass tomorrow. Praise the Lord on this 24th Sunday in ordinary time. Let's ask the Lord to touch us, to help us believe Him, and to receive the benefits that belong to us. Wonderful Jesus. It's no accident that we preached that yesterday and it's the psalm for tomorrow and I didn't know it, but the Holy Ghost knows it, you see. Father, we thank you today that you're merciful, that you're compassionate, that you're slow to anger, that you're plenteous in mercy. Lord, we bring before you tonight all of those especially who are bound by sin, the disease and the sickness of sin and iniquity and transgressions. Lord, we bring them before you tonight. We remind you of your word. That you are gracious and merciful and compassionate and slow to anger, plenteous in mercy. Thank you, wonderful Savior. If you're bound by sin, if you're bound by any iniquity, if you're bound by addictions of any kind, anything that displeases the Lord, I want you to reach out by faith. And touch him now. Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful, merciful, and tender, compassionate Jesus. We give thee the praise. We give thee the praise. We give thee the praise and the thanksgiving, Lord Jesus. Now we speak to all of those who are bound by illnesses, sicknesses, diseases of every kind. Whatever name that the doctor and scientist has put on your illness or disease, the Bible says in the Psalms tomorrow, he pardons all your iniquities and heals all your illnesses. My, 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 this is not some crazy Pentecostal idea you see we Catholics have been believing in miracles and healing for 2,000 years God bless the Pentecostal evangelicals the holiness people because they believe it too because they know it's true I remember the time when my little sister had such a high fever and we didn't have any health insurance I'm 48 years old that must have been 40 years ago and a man of God brother Shari came and he laid hands on my sister, my little sister, Karen Elaine. The fever left her body. Hallelujah. And she was healed, you see. Jesus wants to heal you. He wants to heal you from the disease of sin. And he wants to heal you from sicknesses and illnesses that are put on you by the devil. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities and healeth all thine illnesses. That's the psalm for tomorrow. 
in my daily Roman Missal for the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. Would you receive it today? Lord Jesus, would you touch everyone under the sound of my voice, whatever they need. Deliver them from the disease of sin and iniquity and transgression. Touch their body, Lord. Touch them spirit, soul, and body. We'll give thee the praise, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you. Send us your prayer request and uh, write us um, the tremendous miracles that are happening. I wanted to share with you because it's no accident you see that I was preaching on the same psalm yesterday. That's going to be the psalm for tomorrow. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit. We love you. The Lord bless us tonight. In the name of the Father and of the Son. The Holy Ghost. Brother Willie really loves you now. Good night. Bye.